here. <clears throat> and blanket, you two don't fight. I don't permit it. Oh, hello. It's good to see you again. Fur jacket, you go brush your teeth and make sure you that dentist cleaned your cleaned all your teeth. You see the the fur jacket had to go to the dentist today. And she wasn't too happy about that. It was just a cleaning, uh, cleaning her first cleaning. Oh, had to hold her hand, her cuff the whole time, scared to death. And poor thing, she's got so many teeth. Well, in your human language, it would be zipper. She had her zippers cleaned at the dentist. But in the fur language, it's it's teeth. Jacket. Yes, you're fine. Come here, the, the people want to see you. Now don't be shy. Oh, she's a little grumpy with me because of I made her go to the dentist. But we'll get over it. See, you see, she has so many. Look at her. She has a zipper all the way down here, all the way here on both sides. It took the dental hygienist three hours to clean every between every tooth and floss every one of these had to be flossed I won't let the dirt get in there and decay and see then also the fur jacket also has these this set of teeth here too so the poor thing she had <sighs> poor jacket had has so many teeth I think they're uncountable but I demanded that hygienists floss every la between every last zipper there. You see, I believe in a job being well done. But hygienist, she gave me some of the dirtiest looks you ever saw. I'd hate to hear her what she was thinking out loud. But anyway, the, the jacket got a good report from the dentist. The dentist wasn't too thrilled about having to examine the zippers. And, flo and all the floss them and all those, but but I told him, I pounded my fist on the counter and I said, I pay my taxes. I just like anybody else and my fur family needs their health taken care of properly. And <laughs> the blanket and the fur coat are very happy. They have no teeth. They just have, well, the fur coat has the snaps, but you know what happened to the, that? The snap disaster, oh, terrible with the stitches, oh. oh. The blanket's happy it has no teeth or snaps. Now, now, it's okay, Jacket. You go brush your teeth. Good Jacket, and be calm. It's not your fault that the dental hygienist quit. You see that? That lady wasn't, wasn't very good at her job. She couldn't have been. She would have known how to properly clean the teeth of the fur jacket. So, it, I mean, the fur jacket felt bad whenever the dental hygienist threw down her instruments and walked out. But, what are we going to do about it? Maybe I was a little too hard on her. Maybe I shouldn't have called her lazy. And, um... Prejudiced. Maybe I shouldn't have. I think I hurt her feelings. But, oh well, I pay my taxes, so I have every right. My furs are going to get their treatments. So anyway, that's what happened to us today, the dentist. <laughs> and we guess we caused some, caused a little bit of waves, but, but the fur jackets got her teeth cleaned and now everything's all right. <laughs> so. So much to do, so much going on. I guess I'll have to get back with you later. Ta-ta! <laughs>